there are people who are asleep unwillingly. And there are people who are asleep willingly. And I'm, we've all had this, right, where um, you, you sort of settle down for a nap uh, and um, someone wakes you because they think you have something important to do, but you don't. And it's just kind of annoying, right? Mm -hmm. You're annoyed to be woken up. And, and what you want to do is you want to go back to sleep again, right? Finish your nap. But now there are other people, you know, you got a big job uh, interview and, and you got to get there and, and you slept in, but your roommate comes and wakes you up and you're like, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for waking me up, right? Yeah. Now, it is, that, it is that attitude that happens in the moment of clarification that, to me, is the real fork in the road. Is somebody worthy of investing time? Because there are so many blind and bad people in this world who will engage you to drain you. They will attempt to get you engaged and involved in a debate in order to drain you of your will to live like a vampire sucking down your last micro leader, right? Mm -hmm. And, but there are other people who will be very excited about this. So the moment in the room where you said, is it absolutely true that there's no such thing as absolute truth? Everybody had a moment where they got shaken awake. Shaken awake. Boom. And that moment where the matrix shivers and shimmers, the black cat reappears. That moment of startle where a blinding beam cracks through the programming, a hand reaches through the flowing green numbers and letters, slaps you upside the head with a wet fish. How do people react? Well, if they're annoyed, then it's like, oh, I want to keep sleeping and you woke me up for no reason. Okay, well, that's what they're telling you. I would waste no time <laughs> on those people. On the other hand, if there's someone in the room who's like, wow, that's obvious. It's an obvious contradiction and no one's ever mentioned it before. Why? Right? The moment, it, it's very obvious, right? When there's no such thing as absolute truth. Is that an absolute truth? Right? It's so obvious. And it's been around in philosophy forever, right? It's such an obvious contradiction that do people say, that's obvious. It invalidates the position I've been told is valid for years. And no one has ever mentioned this very short, very succinct antithesis to my thesis before. That's a moment of potential weight. Now, some people are excited by that. They're excited. They're happy that you woke them up. They're curious. They're excited. They're smart <laughs> a lot of times. Now, those people, yes, put in the resources because they will pay off in spades with you, with the future, with spreading things to others and, and teach them this kind of stuff. The moment of wakefulness defines almost everything. Now, this doesn't mean I got to put these caveats in because, you know, and dealing with the muggles sometimes. It doesn't mean that nobody ever changes and it's just that moment and it's determinism and so on. But in a short life where philosophy is challenging enough, we don't want to add to our burdens by chasing after people who are only running away to draw us away from the truth and draw us away from effectiveness, right? Mm -hmm. You lure the philosopher into the woods, I'll continue to propagandize the crowd, right? So I would say, look at that moment of wakefulness, keep speaking your truth and ignore most people who are merely annoyed to be momentarily wake, woken up and can't wait to get back to sleep again and focus on the person whose eyes begin to dance when the hand reaches through the numbers.